All right, what's going on guys? My name is Zach and today I want to share with you exactly how to create an email like the one we created for Feastables in Canva. So I'm going to share with you step by step how to do exactly this on your own. Let's go into Canva. Let's start out by creating custom size here and we're going to make 600 as the width and then 5000 roughly around there. We want to make it really tall. Create a new design and all right. So to start out with, we want to create this background. So we're gonna create the bluish color rectangle, and then we're gonna add an image on top of there. So we're gonna go into here and we're gonna create basically this bluish color. So hit R on your keyboard, whoops, hit R on your keyboard, create a rectangle just like this, and let's move it to the top. And then we want it to be a kind of a nice, a nice blue. So we're gonna go with this one right here, boom. There we go. Okay, so make it pretty tall and then we're gonna go in here and we're gonna add in an image. So you can do some Google searching to find something like this. It's gonna be pretty interesting. We're just need, we need the texture from it basically. So we're gonna go to the back and we're gonna do something like this. Okay, there we go. We're gonna make it really big and we just need a little bit of texture so it's not a plain boring background and then take this, take the transparency, bring it down just like that, awesome. Okay, so we're good there. We're going to next add in a couple things here, just some basics. We're gonna add in the Mr. Mr. Beast Feastables logo right here, put that guy at the top. And then we're gonna add some some fun kind of, I don't know, these little, little chocolate explosions. You'd have to go on their website and find these assets, but you're gonna cut it out and we're gonna put these kind of at the top right there and right, awesome. Okay, so we got that in place. Let's add some text. So I won't do text for every single instance, but at the top here we will. So welcome to the, the Feastables family. That's what we're gonna wanna say here. Welcome to the, and then let's do, we're gonna do it as separate text blocks. So we want Feastables like that, but we'll hit T, T on our keyboard and we will do three different text blocks right here. And I'll, I'll share with you in a second why, but we base, we wanna custom space it out. Okay, so we got the text in there and obviously that looks terrible. So we're gonna go in here and we're gonna change the font. So what they're using is called Hanit. All right, we want this big. So we want it, that right there, we want it black. Okay, and we want it big. Welcome to the, we want that guy right there, perfect. So we want it like this. We're gonna change this to that, make it white, and then effects on the outside. We're gonna go with, let's do a, we'll do it, let's see here, outline, that's what we want. Okay, so we want it pretty big, just like that. And then we're going to make that kind of a chocolate, chocolate color, makes perfect sense. Oh, come on, there we go, boom. There we go, that's looking a little bit more like what we want and then boom, and then boom. So we're gonna put these right on top of each other, and then we're just gonna copy and paste that. Feastables family, there we are, awesome. Let's do that. Welcome to the Feastables family, boom, there we are. Let's go ahead and lock this background so it's not gonna shift around on us. It's gonna be annoying, if so. We'll lock this one too, sweet. Okay, welcome to the Feastables family. We're gonna go ahead and go and add some product right there. And we can see it's right, right in there, center it. Okay, now to create the button, hit R on our keyboard. We'll go over here, make it just about that size. And you can see it stretches most of the way, awesome. And let's go ahead and grab that kind of neon color. We'll do that, it's gonna be a little bit too big. Okay, and then we're gonna go here, add a stroke like that. And then if you wanted to add start feast we can do that and we're gonna make it pretty big and then we're gonna make it that same can it and let's do it something like this and we're gonna make it black let's go into here boom make this a little bit less thick it's a little bit too much a little bit too much border weight start the feast awesome okay we can see here there we are and then we're just gonna basically separate this out so we want this text Right here, 10% off is gonna be like a whole new thing. So we're basically taking what we have here and we're gonna bring it quite a bit down. So we're gonna bring this down to 16-ish. I think this is like 20. Yep, so we'll do 20, 20 there. 
And then we're gonna want to make this right here, a different color. So this is gonna stand out. This is gonna be like that. And then we don't want that chocolate color in the back. We want it black. 10% off, enjoy. And this guy is gonna be black or the whole thing's gonna be black. So we're gonna take, take this out, make this guy right here black. That's how you have to do it basically. Enjoy 10% off your first order. We'll group that right there, center it. And then you just do the same thing down here. Super simple, there's your text. Align it as such, so we're good to go. Awesome, okay. So for the next, all the rest of this text, all we're gonna do is we're gonna create a rectangle like such, put that guy in there. We're gonna make this guy white. It's gonna be like a little text blurb. And then we can go into corner rounding and make it something like that. And then we can go into here and make something like that. Okay. And let's go ahead, I'm just gonna add some more text, like such. Life's too boring for, life's too short for boring snacks. That's right. Okay, we'll take this little, you just have to go online, get a little squiggly arrow, find, use Google search. Cool. Okay, so we got this part right here. We're gonna now create this little transition. So this is not the easiest thing in the world to do in Canva. Canva's not the best way to do it, but it works. Okay, so we're gonna create, we're gonna go into here, and we're going to make sure we're not totally zoomed in at the moment. Come on, there we are, 90, 100. Okay, Canva's going crazy. So we're gonna take a line, take an L, don't actually take an L, take a line, hit L on your keyboard, and boom, just like that. Create this line in here, extend it out a little bit. We want it to be curved. And in order to create the shape, we need, we need something like this. Boom, and then you're gonna have to like line this up. This is not fun in Canva. There's better tools than Canva than this, but in short, this is how we do it. Just pixel perfect, line it up. Okay, so we have this guy right there, it's gonna be a group. This one right here, which is gonna be a yellow color. So we're gonna take this, make these two yellow. Go over here, make this guy yellow as well. I'm gonna take both of these, I'm gonna duplicate it again. And then this one right here, it's gonna be a pinkish color. We're just matching the brand aesthetics. Sweet. One, two, three. We're going to center these guys right there. Let's move it up. Let's see, and then this guy, by the way, is gonna be a blue. So it's gonna match. You want it to match this one, this color right there. I'll show you in a second what that means. So it blends in. You can see this little color is one of these on the backgrounds. We'll go there. Okay, come on. Nope. We want this guy right there. Perfect. Take this and there we are. One, two, three. We're gonna group those and we're gonna put them right in there. So you can see how these, this gives a cool effect. Okay, this guy's gonna come on top just like that. And then we're gonna save this for a little bit later because we're gonna use it a little bit later. Okay, in our design, we wanna take this guy copy and paste it right on top. And we can take this group, move this guy up just a little bit, move this guy down, give him a little bit more space, do something like that as the transition. Okay, so this part right here is difficult. We're gonna create a rectangle like this, and we're gonna add a little fade onto it, a little gradient. So let's go ahead and do that. And we're going to create a gradient from you can see from top to bottom and at the top is going to be this pinkish color. So this guy right here is going to be that. And then on bottom is going to be a little bit more of a different color. Okay. So that's what we need to do there. And now we're going to take our top color and we're going to just create little rectangles. It's not the best way to do it. If, but if you're using Canva, it's the best way to do it. If you're using the other softwares, there's better ways to do this. Not a big deal though. Okay. So we need to basically go into here create these rectangles and these rectangles should be same same color as that right there so that these little rectangles you can see how they perfectly blend in so we need to make sure this guy's at the top and then we're basically going to take this section bring it over the rectangles and make sure this guy is layered correctly and we're just going to take these rectangles there we are something like that boom and we're going to make sure that these rectangles don't go any higher than this so that they perfectly blend in okay and there we are so these guys right there should perfectly align and then if you need to change this so that it perfectly matches that there you get pretty much a seamless fade all right now we're just taking some some copy putting it in here, pretty straightforward, just like that. 
and we're gonna add a little bit of text as our bottom part here. So we're gonna take this guy right there. We could also, whoops, there we go. You can clean this gradient up a little bit, but okay, we're gonna take this guy right there, add in feast. We are, you can see here it's a white on the outside and then on the inside, it's gonna be like that color right there. And then we're gonna go into here and clean this up just a little bit, make it a lot wider. And then we'll take this guy and this background. It's gonna go basically right up to, right up to here. And then to create this next, Transition, we're just doing the same thing. We're gonna take a rectangle in the back ground, extend it out as such. This next background is gonna be a fade between two interesting colors. We're gonna go with this yellow color right here and then a blue, kind of right, oops, come on. Yellow, blue, and we want that up and down. Okay, so this is gonna come in like so. And again, what we can, what we have to do here is really just set that right there going to create a rectangle and this rectangle is going to match. It's going to color match this right here. So we're just going to perfectly align that in there and then take that, that same rectangle. Come on. We're going to lock this guy right there. Let me select that. Okay. And then this guy right there and within here is going to look like that. And then you just come up and perfectly blend this, make sure that there's a perfect, perfect seam like that. Awesome. Let's make sure border style that we're seamlessly transitioning between these different colors. You can clean it up, but you can see here, we want to make sure that these guys, let's do, let's do that. Awesome. Okay. So rough, rough way of doing it, but that's okay. We're doing it quickly for the video. Okay. Ready, ready for flavor adventure is obviously going to go right there. We got a I gotta put this back. Okay, ready for a flavor adventure. And I told you we we're gonna take this transition and utilize it again, but pretty simple. We're gonna take this guy. It's always good to reuse elements. And then we're gonna center it. We're gonna center that guy right there. And then I'm not gonna do it here, but you're gonna have to create this again. Unfortunately, there's, from what I've seen, not a great way in Canva to just horizontal, horizontally flip this. So you're gonna have to create those lines again, but it's pretty simple, just time consuming. So let's, Go ahead, center these guys. Now, this is just simply text. You're just looking, doing the same thing, formatting it so that the colors match what's in, you know, you have this orange color, orange color here, blue color, blue color, pink color, pink color, and we're just adding, making some nice typography. So I'm honestly not gonna go through every single step here. We're gonna copy and paste, add these guys in there, just like that. Let's move it down, give it a little bit nice more nice spacing make sure we're perfectly aligned ready for a flavor adventure yes i am i am ready for a flavor adventure all right so got some nice top typography here super smart grab 20 percent off we're just gonna do this exact same thing you know what i'm gonna you could potentially increase this a little bit more it's about 19. let's do that 19 grab 20 percent off make sure that guy's centered and there we are wrapping up the video here this right here i didn't do this in canva fully Pretty simple, you're creating a rectangle, you're doing that same, you're grabbing this exact same background and just putting it into a footer. So you have the background, you're putting that in there, you're just creating a rectangle, putting that logo in there at the top, you're putting in a bit of text right here, and then one, two, three different buttons, and they no longer wanna receive these emails and subscribe. Pretty straightforward, we're just creating this with shapes, but for the sake of the video, this is getting pretty long. We're just gonna throw that in there. And of course we can go ahead and center it if we, there we go. I was, don't know why I was looking for that so long. And there we are. There's our beautiful email created essentially from scratch in Canva. Awesome. All right, at this point, you can continue creating emails on your own or you can just hire us to create beautiful emails like this for your brand. So in that case, if you wanna reach out, go to zhs-ecom.com, book a call there and speak to myself and we can talk about how to create beautiful emails, highly converting emails, just like these. So appreciate your time and I look forward to speaking with you, if that makes sense.